in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find settings.json file in Visual Studio Code. So here I have my VS Code editor open and what I'm going to do is go to File, Preferences and here I'm going to go to Settings. Now you're going to end up on this Settings page. From here all you have to do is go to upper right corner where you have this settings.json file icon and simply click on it. Now this is going to open your settings.json file. If you've just installed VS Code you might have an empty settings.json file. In the description of this video, I have this starter settings.json file, which will give you terminal font size, font size, tab size, whether you want to insert spaces instead of tabs, and all kinds of different things here. You can even change the size of the editor itself by changing this window.zoom level option to values like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And as you edit your settings file and hit Control S, your options will be saved in real time. Now, another way to open settings.json file is by pressing Control Shift P keyboard shortcut and on this command palette dropdown, simply start typing settings.json. Now, it's going to give you two options open user settings.json, which is the file we just opened, but there's another setting here called default settings.json file. So if you click on that and open default settings.json file, you're going to open the read only default settings file. Now to reset your settings.json file, what you can do is just simply copy this into your user settings.json file. You don't really need to do that, but that would ensure that all of your settings are reset to default values. That's useful for resetting your settings.json file to factory settings as if you've just installed VS Code. Now, again, it's totally normal to have an empty settings.json file, but if you want to set some interesting starter values, go ahead and look in the description of this video.